triangle PQR shown below. If the sine of R is 0 0.60, what is the cosine of P? Well, the rule is it's the complementary theorem, and the rule is that um, if we know the sine of R is 0.60, sine of R is equivalent to the cosine of P, so that means that cosine of P is 0.60. Number six, it's the same idea here. If triangle PQR is shown, sorry, it says ABC down here, so if triangle ABC is shown below, if the cosine of A is 7 25ths, so if the cosine of A is 7 25ths, then what's the sine of C? Well, once again, the rule is, is that the cosine of A is going to be the same value as the sine of C. So since cosine of A is 7 25ths, then sine of C must also be 7 25ths. And that's the answer, but I want to take a minute and show you just a little bit more detail on here. If we fill in the length here of our triangle, remember that cosine, we're labeling it with respect to cos to A, then the hypotenuse is here. Across from A is the opposite. And then over here is the adjacent. And well, we're dealing with cosine. So if we fill this in, cosine is the adjacent. So it's going to be 7. So that side length is going to be 7. Let's get that out of the way. The adjacent side is 7. The hypotenuse is 25. Now, I know that I erased the adjacent and the hypotenuse. I'm now going to erase the opposite. In fact, this as well. Because if we want to know the sine of C, well, here's C. And we label, this is still the hypotenuse. But then we go across, here's the opposite, which means that this length is the adjacent. But what is the sine of C? Well, it's opposite of our hypotenuse. And there's another way of finding the fact that it's 7 25ths. On number 7, find the value of x. Well, the thing about these, as I go back and look at the picture, is that angle A and angle C add up to be 90 degrees every single time. Because there's 180 degrees in the triangle. We know 90 of it at angle B, so there's 90 left to split between A and C. But when we look at these three, what we need to recognize is, is that the angle that's given here is 83 degrees. To figure out our value, we take 90 minus 83, and we get 7 degrees for that one. If we go to letter B here, then we know 52, so x is 90 minus 52, and 10 minus 2 is 8, and 8 minus 5 is 4. And the same idea over here on letter C. We know 19 degrees. We can take 90, we can subtract 19, and we end up with 10 minus 9 is 1, 8 minus 1 is 71 degrees.